Okay, this is where we're at so far. I've put the letters on the valance. They look nice and straight to me. Close enough for government work. I've got the silver gray color. Like I mentioned before, there would be no reason to sand and respray this valance. This is perfect. And then I've already installed my Raptor lights ahead of time. There they are right there. I've got the three smoke. Um, you can either put them all together or separate them. And everything I see online of photos, they're missing one spot here. So for the three, you don't want them together. Although you could do that. That's the way I placed them in there. But I, I then I said, let me check that. So it's going to look very nice with the smoke color. They're very incognito and they're going to be amber. And that's really going to make this whole front end pop with my uh, retro uh, uh, stripe color, uh, tricolor Toyota badge I have in the grill at the bottom, uh, which you'll see. And then I have my 3D front tag that says Forerunner in Chrome. And so it's gonna really make, with the lights on the top, from top to bottom, my front end is gonna be really nice looking. Uh, this is gonna be one of the best TRD Pro grill mods online <laughs> all right so i'm going to go out now and take off the top valance and bring it in disassemble it and assemble this to my barcelona red mustache and um, remove remove that and bring it in here and um, switch them out so i'll be back all right here we go I had it parked in the shade. I got to back it up some. The sun has moved. Maybe I'll put it in this spot right here. I've got my tools in here and I want to work in the, uh, on the shade there. All right, guys, let's rock and roll here. We're going to take this here valance off and you just pop these right here underneath. There's two, there's the top one and the ring, right? The washer type thing. Go in between. Pop that up. I already did this one right here. There's two on the top. Then you go down here. Pop that one up. I'm trying to video and show you at the same time. That one. Here's another one. They come up so easy, guys. Just barely. Barely have to touch them. Okay. Boom. Pull them out of there. These are long ones. They can't be confused with the ones that hold the uh, radiator shroud. So you have four of these on the bottom and then the two on the very top up here. Okay, these are the long ones, right? That's what they look like. And then to get, we want to remove our um bracket right here you don't and then we're going to remove this afterwards uh from this valance we get get this off but anyway we're going to take this off right now then i'm going to show you there's some snaps there's some uh where are they i'm going to find them in a second okay everyone tim here in sarasota here's the final job on my uh, TRD Pro Heritage Retro Grill uh, with the Raptor lights. I went with the three instead of the four. I think it looks great. I did the job myself. Uh, this is the aftermarket one from Car Trim Home. And uh, you can get hooked up with uh, Savage on Facebook and go through his link and save, uh, I think it's 17% or 15% uh, or something like that. And uh, it was 200 bucks, a little over with the lights shipped, quick shipping. Uh, the quality is excellent. Uh, hooked up, I uh, bought the um, add a fuse and a couple of things to uh, make it plug and play. And I put the uh, letters on as straight as I could. Looks good enough for government work. And the fit and finish, I mean the paint finish of this is spectacular. I've seen guys on YouTube talk about lightly sanding them and painting them. You don't need to do that. This thing is ready to go. And uh, I was gonna make a tutorial on uh, how to change it out, but I had more problems than uh, anybody I've seen on YouTube do it.
because I was just so nervous about breaking a, you know, uh, a tab. There's so many different ones. There's not too many videos on the 2021 with that new um, upper part there with the Sombrero uh, Toyota thing and the silver bar that was there. But anyway, I got it on there. Everything's fit and finished, it's perfect. Shouldn't go anywhere. The only test will be if these letters stay on in car washes or whatever, because they literally are just stuck on with 3M tape. But I have it rigged in a fuse where when you start the vehicle, those uh, Raptor lights come on. Uh, they don't come on if you push the acce accessory button. The engine has to actually start. Um, and there's a video I got where the guy put it in a put in whatever fuse uh, area it was in the uh, right under the hood, not through the firewall or anything. Real simple. So uh, real happy with it. I highly recommend it. Way cheaper than the factory OEM at six hundred dollars. This was two hundred bucks. And uh, looking at it straight away there, looks really good. It's still daylight out. I'm sure tonight these LEDs are going to pop. And I'll show you, um, can you turn the lights out? Just twist them off on the turn signal. I'll show you guys what it looks like with the lights off. So if I want to just drive, I usually ride with my lights on and the fog lights. But I can drive like this now. And uh, that's kind of cool. I like how the... Uh, license plate I have and the tricolor uh, classic Toyota thing there kind of goes with the whole theme and uh, but this one is built around the radar cruise control here so it has a little cutout underneath uh, this is what the 20 and 21s have so that's really the only difference in them so anyway that's what it looks like guys thanks very much for viewing get yourself one I think it makes it look so much more um, off-roadish and uh, with the uh, basket rack I've got and everything, I've, I've really built this one uh, to, to where I really love it. So thanks for viewing, guys. Take care.